breaking the wall of cardiac disease treatment, Mayada Hausawi, King Abdullah University of Science and Technology, Saudi Arabia. Do you know of a single family that has not been touched by heart disease? I'm asking you this because heart disease is actually the number one cause of death globally. An estimated 17.7 million people die from cardiovascular disease annually. And in fact, one out of three deaths is due to cardiovascular disease. It's a huge problem. So what happens when something goes wrong with your heart? Your physician would probably ask you to perform a cardiac catheterization procedure in which a small plastic tube that's called a catheter will get inserted into your heart for diagnosis or treatment. Now with catheters, you can measure the level of oxygen inside the heart, you can look for any blockage, or you can even repair the valves. So I've consulted with cardiac surgeons that shed light on one major disadvantage that happens during that surgery, and that is not being able to determine the orientation of the catheter tip once it gets inside the heart. So what they do? They expose the patients to radiation, and they keep injecting them with contrast agents until they make sure that they have the right orientation inside the heart. So the longer the time it takes for the surgeon to find the orientation, the greater the exposure to radiation, and the more dye that must be injected into the heart, and that is harmful for kidneys. And this procedure, by the way, happens for about one million times per year just in North America. So it's bad enough that these patients might actually have a cardiac problem. It's even worse that they have to sacrifice their kidney for it. So what I'm proposing today is a smart catheter that has three axis magnetoresistive sensors that can determine the orientation of the tip of the catheter just based on the Earth's magnetic field. And the surgeon will be able to visualize and track down the catheter on a 3D visual image, which will reduce the amount of exposure to radiation for both the patient and physician, and also a reduction in the amount of contrast agents by at least 80% during the navigation process. That's a photo of the first prototype of the smart catheter that does not only have the potential to save lives, but it can also revolutionize the way cardiac catheterization is being done today. And that's how I'm going to break the wall of cardiac disease treatment. Thank you. Thank you so much.